Hi, my name is Sammy. I create day in the life vlogs and beauty related content. Welcome to my 30th birthday vlog. Me and my family are currently headed to Atlanta, Georgia from Nashville, Tennessee. And here are the views on the way there. We visit often, so we have our spots that we normally go to. So come with us. Canton House! We always get hot tea because it helps us digest our food a lot better. And so that I don't feel super bloated after. We weren't really sure what to get, so we ended up getting a whole variety of different stuff. The food was okay, it wouldn't be my absolute favorite, I would say. But there is this one place that we always go to for so many years. We come here to place an order to go for about maybe 15 bun mis for the next day. This place is so good, highly recommend. Of course, when you're in Atlanta, we have to stop by an Asian jewelry store. This place has been one of our favorite places for a few years. Got me the Dior lip oil. Ended up going to Sephora. I really was not planning on purse shopping, but my mom was looking and I ended up in here somehow and here we are looking at purses. <laughs> I think we're going with these. My mom got this one, this color. And then I got the smaller version, but in this color. Moisturizing lip balm. Ooh. Do I want one? These are so cute. Of course, we're at H Mart. Gotta get some noodles. I think I'm gonna I'm have self control. Give me one or two. One or two. Maybe some fire noodles. It's cheaper here. Going with these two. Um, yeah, we're just gonna go with these two. I already have some fire noodles at home. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna hold off. Breakfast is one of my favorite times of the day, especially if I'm up early and have to get stuff done. Then I can't start my day off with not eating breakfast, unless I ate too much the night before, but 
I always had to have something before starting my day. Pomelo. I don't know about you, but I'm a zoo girly. If there is a zoo in any city, best believe I'm there. Especially if I'm visiting. For some reason, I just enjoy going to the zoo and seeing all the animals all while getting my steps in. Like, what could be any better than that? But I've been to this zoo a few times and I love it. It's one of my favorites. Another view of the elephant, my favorite. For this year's birthday, I decided on Italian because in the previous years, it was always some sort of steakhouse. And so this year, I wanted to do something a little bit different. We ended up going to Luogo's in Nashville, Tennessee. I invited my best friends and a few of my closest friends and my boyfriend. The food, the ambiance, and the service was amazing. I would definitely go back. We decided to basically order almost one of everything so that way we could share. I'm glad that we did that because I could not decide what I really wanted. Everything was pretty good, but I would say my favorite is the bolognese pasta. We did family style. Let me show you my plate. Turning 30 just feels a bit weird, but also calming because for this year, I didn't really care too much about celebrating my birthday. I just wanted to focus on spending time with the people I love and just making memories. One thing's for sure, I definitely feel more appreciative, thankful, and grateful for all the things that I have right now in my life. I say this because I just remember looking back in my 20s, early 20s, I was so focused on the next thing and rushing things, but now I feel like I am slowing down and appreciating the small things and taking my time and being patient with myself. I can honestly say I'm very excited to grow older, which is weird to say because getting older was always something I somewhat feared because of society, but now I'm just so excited. It's starting to get a little bit warmer, and so we decided to incorporate Sunday walks into our routine. It's just another way to get more steps in and be a little bit more active, especially now that the weather is getting nicer. So far, it's been pretty nice, and after, I feel really, really good. We made it to the dam and our metrics today, let me show you. We did 
2.8 miles on the way here. And that's about 5,000 steps. And the average pace is 17. And a half. 17 and a half. Now we gotta go back. This is the map. It's a really big map. Pretty big trail. Where did we go? Uh huh. And we are here. On the way back. It has all my stuff because it's getting heavy. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's a little deer right there. Wait, 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 right there. Is that another one? What's that behind it? Oh, there's squirrels. And that completes our walk, 5.74 mi miles. So we got 10,618 steps and we gotta go to Planet Fitness to finish off our workout. Hi, hello. So today is a few days after my birthday and I just kind of do a little bit of reflecting on what we did and turning 30. It's just wild and insane because I really didn't think I would have made it this far. I don't know. I just never thought of turning 30. So when I say I would have never thought I made it this far, that's what I mean. Never thought about turning 30. That makes any sense. But I'm 30. It's just crazy because I look back in my 20s. Wow. And if you've been here since then, since my early days, I'm glad you're here. <laughs> I'm glad you've stuck around. But honestly, uh, I'm not even ready to begin. I'm thankful and blessed and grateful to be able to turn 30 and be able to spend time with my friends and family and just be able to celebrate my birthday. It's such a blessing. And honestly, like I said, thinking back on my 20s, man, did I go through it. I went through so much and I've learned so much about myself and things that I want and things that I don't want in life. And I'm still learning. I'm still exploring different aspects in my life and learning new things. And I'm still learning about certain things about myself. I'm constantly figuring out new things that I enjoy, things that I don't enjoy. So it's like a never ending cycle, I guess you could say, but it's not a bad thing. I actually enjoy it. But I'm here to say to never give up. You never know how life is gonna turn out. And when I say that, it's because when I reflect back on a few years, gosh, I would say in my 20s, I had about like two phases to where I was just not happy. Two points of my 20s, I was not happy. I will say at some point in my early 20s and then like around like towards the end of my 20s, but ended off on a good note, pretty much. But I say that because never give up. You never know how things are going to turn out. You may feel like the world is ending. You may feel like things are just not working out no matter how hard you try. And if you ever feel like you're constantly hitting a wall or if you're constantly being kicked down by other people or people are trying to bring you down especially with their words and their actions and they try so hard to suck the soul out of you don't give up because people will try and try and try but if you don't ever give up and you still believe in yourself and you continue to feed into yourself and take care of yourself and love yourself, things will turn out for the better. And I say that because those two phases of my life, I didn't think there was an end. I constantly ran into a wall. I felt like I constantly was being, I wouldn't say like tagged, but I, I, I was constantly being fed negativity with the people that I've come across in my life and it just felt like a never ending cycle. But a lot of the time it was because of who I surrounded myself with and what I allowed myself to allow. That makes any sense. But pretty much I had to do a lot of self reflecting because like what is it about me that's attracting this? And what's attracting all of this? I really need to look into myself and see what am I doing for these people to be attracted to me and so I did a lot of soul searching <laughs> which has helped a lot and I feel like I'm still learning and I'm still working on myself but I'm here to say if you feel like you're in your 20s and you feel like things are just not looking up 
Life is just beginning. You are just figuring things out. It's not the end all be all. Like your 20s is a lot of trial and error. You don't know until you do it or you try it. And so don't give up. You got this. And I'm saying this for also for my future self because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna see this in the future. I say that because sometimes I do watch my vlogs from a year, few years back. So not only am I just telling you guys, but I'm also telling my future self this because I know myself, I will more than likely watch this vlog over and over again. I'll probably come across it a lot because a lot of my vlogs, I watch them. I watch them over again because I'm like, oh, I kind of want to rewatch that. Like what happened? And I'm here to say, regardless of what people say about you or try to do to you, you gotta believe in yourself, you gotta push on, and you gotta just keep going. Because when I tell you, I feel like I finally have a breath of fresh air now that I'm 30. It's crazy. It's so freaking crazy to say. But yeah, thankful and grateful for everything. And honestly, I couldn't have asked for anything more. Very content and happy with where I'm at in life. Of course, I desire and aspire to do more and all of that, but that's gonna come whenever the time is due. So I'm not gonna rush anything and just trust the process like I've been doing in my 20s. And I know this may be a little bit long, but I just wanted to share that little rant because at first, turning 30, it was, it was very daunting. It's just kind of like, oh man, I'm turning 30. I should have more in my life. But then I'm just kind of like, I can't really think of it that way because the things that I have now in life, at one point, I desired to have it. And now I have it. So I just got to look around and see all the blessings I have and just be thankful and grateful that I have the things that I do. And of course, continue to work on achieving other goals that I have while appreciating everything that I have now and I'll see you guys soon I might not see you guys soon I don't know I'm not sure but I'll see you guys later bye